So lastly, I'll, I'll, I'll show everybody a, a quick demo. So put, your, put yourself in the frame. You are a, uh, you're a plant manager. You're maybe an operations manager. And you know, the logical thing that you're going to be interested in is what happened with the facility the day before or what's going on with a particular asset within a facility, right? So today, if you go into uh, sites, a lot of sites will have you know, the heads up displays the, that will say, okay, X number of units produced, number of days without incident, very, very common. Um, you'll also see uh, kind of simplified and on displays. Are, are units up or are they down? Some facilities will have uh, verbal or sound-based communication that goes out through the facility to let people know what's going on. Right? All those are, 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 are specialty systems, right? They're, they're, they're unique things that I buy from unique vendors put into my plant, right? Well, where's all this going? Well, one of the examples where this is all going, again, another dimension of IoT, is it's all going to devices like this, right? We all use this thing and these platforms far more than we ever did, right? Imagine your day without mail on one of these things, right? We now, th this is our primary communication device. Right? More and more is going here. So not only can we do all this information, push it to these devices, but now we can start to take advantage of new platforms such as Alexa. So for instance, let me, let me just ask Alexa a question. Alexa, ask Insight if anything unusual happened. Frankfurt R22 flow out was higher than usual, reported today at 9.59 a.m. Would you like the next headline? Yes. Frankfurt tank 400 level was lower than usual, reported yesterday at 9.46 a.m. Would you like the next headline? Thanks. So Okay. <laughs> she almost threw me up. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so we're super excited. One of the things that we're announcing also here at this conference is our partnership with Microsoft and what we're doing with Microsoft, both from a um, visual, the next step in, in capabilities in AR and VR, but also what we're doing with them from a cloud and Azure standpoint. So uh, in the quick example that I just gave you there uh, with the end device, what we were doing was we're collecting information up through uh, either very, very thin connection like our example with the car wash or a traditional example coming up through a um, automation platform application, maybe a SCADA platform. That information is then being pushed into our cloud repository Right? And then from our cloud repository, we're using one of our clients against that cloud repository. And that's what the end device is going and querying and asking information of. Right? So let's say that I was, uh, one more example, let's say that I'm a water operator. One of the things I might be concerned about from a water operator, I'll, I'll ask her. Alexa, ask Insight about pump energy usage levels. For pump energy usage, pump 101 power is 17.2 kilowatts, down 0 0.8 from yesterday. Pump 102 power is 17.7 .7 kilowatts, down zero from yesterday. Alexa, stop. Stopped. Thanks for using Insight. Okay, so just a couple of quick examples, right? And this is also an example of um, how open the platform is as well, right? So this is a open technology platform, the uh, Alexa platform, communicating with Azure, with the data store and the information coming up through, you know, both thin architecture, new architecture means, as well as traditional architectural means. So very, very open again, uh, complementary and at value add when it's Schneider product that's underneath and going through the entire eco structure stack, but also available on top of, you know, anybody else's products and, and hardware as well. So very, very unique in that regard. It's been, it's been ringing already. I, and I think they believe after this wonderful uh, Alexa presentation, um, and uh, yeah. Alexa, what is Schneider Electric? Schneider Electric SE is a French multinational corporation that specializes in energy management and automation solutions, spanning hardware, software, and services. Thank you. <laughs> that was not trained. <laughs> the. Um, Actually, you know, a couple of things I want you to remember. Obviously, this one, uh, again, I think we're a very simple company. We're um, an energy automation company and we're uh, an automation company. Actually, a real full liner in automation from discrete to a hybrid to heavy process uh, um, uh, automation. And, um, you know, we have a very simple open and cyber secure architecture or, or the system platform that's that's running on top of it 
um, and the, the architecture is called ecostructure. It goes uh, through um, the whole domains where Schneider Electric is, um, is active. Uh, the system platform is agnostic. I think that's something very important to know. All of you know that we don't have 50 plus percent market share. So there is a, a lot of um, uh, uh, installed base out there and um, we can gather data from whoever um, uh, is out there in the installed base. I think that's very important 